Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Welcome back to the Book Corner. So before I start with this this review that I promised you a couple of days ago, I want to say um, I have totally cut myself off from Amazon Prime. I actually found I don't need Amazon Prime to do anything. Um, so, um, I on my Kindle Fire, I have Freebie, which was already downloaded. Um, onto the uh, uh, Amazon Fire, so I'm able to watch uh, like the Dresden Files, and uh, they also have the show Invincible on there. So I am able <clears throat> to watch those programs and also some documentaries. I have not seen their full collection of uh, stuff, but yeah. And also yesterday I signed up for Tubi which is an absolutely free service, though you do have to watch um, advertisements. And I was busy reading, not reading, watching a Victorian mystery with a <clears throat> a female uh, female sleuth, and uh, it takes place in, like, Victorian England. And the first one was, like, it centered around, like, um, opium and this um, ruby, and it was really interesting. Um, a lot of people getting, a lot of people dying, a lot of people getting their, <laughs> their asses hit. <laughs> oh, this one guy got beat up so badly. But anyways, yeah, so, um, the reason that I signed up for Tubi is because I can watch movies and I can watch TV shows and I can watch the news and stuff like that. So I was very, very happy about it. The only thing... That is missing from it is Star Trek The Next Generation. I don't know if Tubi took it off, but it was really a lot of fun to be able to watch that, but it's not there anymore, so i got to find something else. <laughs> All right, so, um, oh yeah, another thing before I continue, I am re-watching Midsummer, Midsummer Murders. Um, so yeah, <laughs> All right. So here's a review of R.L. Stein Goosebumps, The Girl Who Cried Monster. Uh, this is actually number, uh, oh man, um, I'm sorry, I put this up here because I can't see. Number eight, I believe. I believe that's eight. But anyways, all right, <clears throat> so, um, I will tell you right off the bat, um, I did not finish this book. I absolutely did not finish this book, and the reason for it is that, it turned out to not be my most favorite book. Um, I found it to be really kind of dull. I mean, I know some people are going to be like, Oh, The Girl Who Cried Monster is my favorite Goosebumps book from the 90s. And I totally understand that. Um, it was just that I really did not like the girl who is supposed to be in this one who cries monster. Um, I really did find that the TV episode was um, a lot better than the book <clears throat> because you could watch it and be like annoyed to no end because of her. But um, I just really found her to be obnoxious and annoying and grating on my nerves. And I really don't like that at all. I just... I mean, as an author, I know I write annoying mothers, and that seems to be something I'm very, very good at writing, is annoying mothers, but this was just on a whole new level of annoying. It was just like, can we just have her die, please? Let's just have her die, let's get her eaten by the monster, and all that stuff. And of course, the ending in the book is the same in the TV show, so if you want to know the ending of this book... Just watch the TV show, and you will find out exactly what happens to um, to him. Anyways, um, yeah. So I'm gonna give this uh, book two stars. I just did not did not care for it. Um, I'm I'm hoping that the next one will be better and all that. So I will see you guys around. Bye. <laughs>